Accountability. This is the Fortnite competitive community's biggest problem. You've probably seen this exact situation happen before. It's just after a solo victory cash cup, the one where if you win a game you get $100, right? And you're just scrolling through Twitter catching up on what's happened in the tournament and boom, you see the tweet with this type of caption, minus $200 with a few videos of him dying in situations where he maybe had some good loot or good mats and maybe he died mid game or something in some unexpected way. And yeah, in these videos, it's kind of understandable why he's so frustrated. So he's going off on this tweet in the caption writing about how he's so unlucky, the person he's versing is so dumb for being there at that time of the game, all these weapons and this meta is stupid. Now imagine another player who actually dies in the exact same situations or very similar, but oh, he doesn't make any tweet at all. He doesn't even begin to be frustrated with the person that killed him or just the new weapon and meta in the game. Oh wow, he's actually in VODs right now trying to figure out what he could have done to not die. Even though that death was kind of sad and kind of stupid, and he knows that, he can't leave any death unstudied. He needs to know what he can do next time to prevent that stupid situation from happening. Now let me know what you think. Who's going to be the better player in a year? Yeah, the guy who blames literally nothing except himself. In fact, he will utterly destroy and leave behind that guy that still thinks he's unlucky and is still tweeting out and thinking, wow, if I just didn't die to this guy in this unlucky spot, then I probably would have won the game because I had really good loot and good mats. Like, do you not realize in that game, there were probably 10 to 20 other people in the similar situations that died after having good loot and being in a good situation. And they all thought they were also close to winning. 10 to 20 other people out of 100 people. <laughs> You aren't special, but what can make you special is the mindset you have after you die. Because like I said, you aren't alone in that game feeling like you were super close to winning and just got unlucky. In fact, there's heaps of other people in the game that felt the exact same thing. Bruh. Blame on anything but yourself is extremely bad specifically because every single time you make a mistake in a game and die from it, which is every single time by the way, you're basically subconsciously letting your brain know, yo bro, this wasn't our fault at all and I'm completely okay with what just happened. And what do you think that does? Huh? It like grows no survival memory type of a reaction in you. Which is literally what your skill in Fortnite is based off of. All these many many times that you died in a game and you weren't okay with it. So your brain like creates a memory and a trauma behind that experience to make sure it remembers that that wasn't okay and I don't want to do that again. So maybe let's not be in this position next time because it led to that pain that I wasn't okay with. And obviously if you're just like oh I was unlucky I probably would have won that game if I didn't happen then your brain is not going to remember it that well because it's okay with it and it's like oh there's nothing I couldn't do let's just forget it. And sadly, I know probably the majority of you, like 95% of the people watching this video are going to be like, yeah, that's a really good video voice, which that's so true, oh my gosh. And then in a week, I could probably catch you blaming something that isn't yourself again. Bruh. Completely switching your mindset around just at the click of a finger whenever you want to is yes, impossible. Just like everything else, you must practice it over time. Every time you die in a situation and you have that temptation to blame something that isn't yourself and you go through the pain and like really try going against yourself and eventually blame yourself for it that's like one rip of a bicep kill in the gym and basically if you keep going against the grain of what your brain wants to do which is blame other stuff then you're constantly doing these repetitions just like you would in a gym if you constantly did bicep kills all the time every day and that over time just makes your mentality stronger just as I would if you were to do heaps of curls in a gym. Like it gets easier over time to blame yourself once you've done it heaps before. At the start, if you have a terrible mentality, it's going to be hard, but just know eventually it just becomes second nature to do. And make sure you carry this lesson everywhere else with you in life because accountability for your own actions is like probably the most important trait you could have for success. Just remember your situation now, everything in it is your fault. Even if it seems ridiculous that it could even be your fault, no, be quiet. Because thinking in any other way is literally not going to serve you in any way. There is zero point. You're broke, your fault. Your family's broke, your fault. Your girl left you, your fault. <laughs> this sounds so harsh and many of you will think it's ridiculous. But if you're watching this and you actually do take action and adopt this mindset in Fortnite and your whole life, just know that you're going to see so, so much more success than anyone else who doesn't.